Let's talk about this knife right here. This is the Tucson T. Is it 204 Bronc? 204. Yep. The Bronc. So, how did this come about exactly? I talked to Matt about it a little bit. Yeah. I want to hear it like from your side, like what happened. Sure. So, um, Matt approached me with a design. He's approached me with a few designs around this. Um, and he said, hey, you know, you think we can do a collaboration? Because Prior to this, he had done a collaboration, uh, I believe it was with Wong Design. Yeah. And it was a really nice piece as well, G10 inlay and uh, playing with the colors, nice drop point. Is that um, the green one? That's the green one, yeah. yeah. Um, really nice. Also bulky handles as well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, you know, he, he threw some designs my way. And um, at that point, I only done, I think, one other Warncliff type design. And um, I said, okay, let's see what we can do. And I put together um, what I thought would do him justice for the design he gave me and kind of put my touches on it as well. And um, I think we went back and forth about the materials. By the way, material choice was 100% what Matt wanted. And um, I thought it was excellent and the way tucson executed it was phenomenal um yeah let's talk about so. this one right here because i could not keep this guy out of my pocket like i i i've shown it in uh, i want to say not counting tiktok just youtube videos i've already shown it four times <laughs> like, awesome thank you i just absolutely love this thing this is the keelage right that's how you pronounce yeah. it Kilij, yeah. Kil Kilij, yeah. Kilij. And this is awesome, dude. Like, Thank you. what? How did this one come about? Like, how did this one start? You know, it it started from paper. I I spent maybe a good couple months trying different styles, and I wanted to do something unique that was kind of bringing two different elements into the design, and that being the carbon fiber men, uh, mended in with the type titanium design mm -hmm. but you know everyone has their specific way of doing it so yeah. i wanted to, to do it like uh, in a way that would be unique right so in this way i was like okay what if we took carbon fiber but then coated it around titanium right so at the end of the day you kind of have this um almost like a gentleman tactical kind of um yeah. look going for it and then um, I'm already I'm I'm usually really specific about the pocket clips that I like to deploy on my designs because I like something that's unobtrusive, kind of looks like a pen pen clip yeah. in your pocket, you know. But I always see pocket clips is like the the tie to a beautiful suit, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and everything's, you know, attention to detail, you know, the devil's in the details. You're getting that knife displayed across the board and like knife YouTubers are like fucking scared of TikTok for some reason. I get a lot <laughs> of love on there, you know, and you're, dude, the, the killage, um, the, uh, this is the 328, right? TS 328. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is on TikTok Warlock. too. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. So let's talk about this one a little bit. Yes. Um, uh, where did you get this like pattern design? I wanted to know what was the decision making on that. Um, so there was a design we launched prior to this, the TS one seventy seven Maverick, the small one. And that was that was a collaboration with Night Morning, right? And the element we took to that was a similar, you know, three D um, milled handles and you know thinking about like how can we do this with something that really pops because one of the comments we got back from people was like man is it really slippery how is it you know in, in hand and by the way the the way the light hits it uh is really cool so i'm take take all this feedback that we're getting from the community and say okay what else can we do that is kind of, is a little bit unique that we can bring to it. And this is what I came up with. I was thinking, man, diamonds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I played with a couple iterations for that, threw it over to Tucson, and then 
you know, night morning, because he's so close with Tucson, he kind of sent me a shot of what this could look like. They had machined out the scales and he sent it to me. I was like, man, that's it. Nice. That's exactly how it should be. You know, what's crazy is like, I always label myself as like, I'm definitely a knife guy because I have to carry a knife every day. I actually feel really weird if I don't have one. And that's very rare. Mm -hmm. Like, like in case that I forgot to bring one to work, I have knives at work that are, I leave there in case like I forget to bring one, you know, and it's very (laughs) rare. I just have to have one. I feel weird if I can't, I don't have the ability to like cut something or, you know, I have to open a package. It's like, that's really what I do with knives. I'm not out there like, feathering sticks or something you know what i mean this is uh one of your earlier designs the dynamo yeah, this was the dynamo's my first design with tucson nice yeah. i remember this one i saw it on ltk love the knives page yeah yep wow very cool um how did you get started with this one um so i wanted to do something that was really pocket friendly um subcompact if you want to call it goes into the fifth pocket, but yeah. also do something different as my first design um, going into with Tucson. And uh, I threw it out to Tucson and I got the wheel idea from a, a, a dynamo that's, you know, the old army radios that you had to rotate to generate energy. Yeah, yes. So that's where I actually had one of those radios and I was looking, oh, I was like, that. dude, I bet you could apply this to a knife design, you know? So I started playing with it and hence so cool. throw some jimping on there. And that's what you have today. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> have you ever skied in your jeans? No. Like gone skiing no. with jeans on? No. <laughs> so car- Have you ever gone skiing? <laughs> I have, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> have you ever um, seen people skiing in their jeans? Uh, no, actually, I did not see. <laughs> see, he's got some cash flow, man. That's why you're not at the trashy part of the slope. <laughs> it's so fun. Yo, I can envision that. Like somebody going down. Pool or something like that, you know. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> going down the black diamond with jeans on. <laughs> uh, Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.